and welcome back to a new video on my channel. Today we are not playing Victoria 3, today we are playing Crusader Kings 3. And we are playing as the Duchy of Holland and our goal for this video will be to form the Netherlands. We are going to try to form the Netherlands as soon as we can and much earlier than historically accurate because historically the Netherlands, the first entity that could be called the Netherlands was the Burgundian Netherlands which was formed after the year 1500 and Crusader Kings 3 starts as you can see here in the year 867. So that is a lot lot earlier um, than historically accurate and with that we are going to try the form sort of the low country so we are going to get back all the counties that were in the areas that are now the Netherlands but also in the areas uh, of Belgium and Luxembourg and maybe even a little bit more but our goal for this video will be to build tall as well so we will not be going to war too much with um, countries where we do not have claims anyways I've created our character already here he's called Willem I've created our house uh, as well one of Nassau which is the, uh, the Dutch um, house that controls the Netherlands. And I've given our monarch, I don't know if we can see that, we'll probably have to start. Let's do that. I've given him genius because the Dutch are pretty damn smart. Um, speaking about dams, they were the first to really master the sea. And also Midas Dutch because they're great stewards. I mean, it speaks for itself where the Dutch are known to be greedy, but also known to make a lot of money. Actually the first country to create a stock market, but that's all not really um, of interest to us in, uh, in Crusader Kings because it's about kings and monarchs and not about uh, the stuff that comes after. That is all in um, some other Paradox game. I believe it is in EU4 that focuses more on um, the, uh, the the actual Dutch golden age. Yeah, so we are a steward. We'll start with the domain focus and we'll go for collect taxes because we apparently start off with one uh, thing already. So we are the largest, um, how do you call this? The largest realm um, inside of the uh, the Low Countries region, the Dutch region. We are a duchy. I believe we're the only duchy here. I don't know if a prince bishop pre is... No, it's a county title. So nope, these are all counties. And then he's a count as well. Yeah. And then I mean, there's the Duchy of Flanders, who is also a duchy. But yeah, let's start things off by getting some claims here. So we'll start claiming... Antwerp is trade away. Let's have a look if we can find someone with the genius trade as well. I don't think that there is anyone with the genius trade, really. I believe we're 18 years of age. Yep. No, there's no one with the genius trade. Then let's try to marry someone with a pretty or the handsome trade. Or should we do someone who has a lot of stewardship? Let's do... Oh my god. Okay, no. Let's not marry someone yet. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. Let's just marry uh, her. She has the pretty trade. Chance of children is high. Will not lose any prestige. True. It's a pretty decent wife. And we'll put her on managed domain. Right now we don't need the uh, the limit, but eventually we do. We want to have control of most of our uh, counties. Are we the head of, the head of dynasty? We are not. So we should probably make sure that we are the head of dynasty first and we'll improve our capital, which right now is not Amsterdam, it's Haarlem. So we'll do that. Once we get a control of the county of Holland, we'll change our capital to, capital to be in Amsterdam. Oh, look at that. We already became head of dynasty. The very nice. Um, yes, we'll want to get the limited crown authority so we can revoke title. To do that, we'll need... What do we need? Plenary assemblies, I believe. That will take us 60 years. I will probably not survive. And I believe that's based on the development. Yeah, the development in Dutch counties. So getting more development means that you get innovations faster as well. And we get the automatic... What's it called? The cultural fascination? or the Oh no, the exposure it's called to the mustering ground. So this will be discovered faster basically already and we'll use our gold to build a lot of these trading ports because they give development growth oh let's go this guy invites us to be his chancellor now i do want to be on your council but i don't want to be a chancellor so i will decline but i will petition to you for a seat hopefully he changes his mind for the right one. Oh, we definitely need to hire some people to defend me on my quest and let's go he will join my court uh okay why not he can be a knight so we have arrived and he wants to be or he wants me to be a steward which is Perfect, because the stewardship position gives us more tax. It gives more domain domain tax. <clears throat> it reduces the construction of building costs. And we gain more stewardship lifestyle as well. This is very nice. Oh, we are offered to be his son's ward. Wars must first travel to guardian council. That will probably... Yeah, let's do that. So he has a son or a daughter. A daughter. We And we become their ward. So we can basically choose what kind of education she gets. And our wife is pregnant. Let's go. 
Let's have a look here. Holding Texas. Yes, let's do that. Mercenary settle down. We get a weak hook or we gain a friendship. Let's gain a friendship because we can't really do anything with the weak hook hooks right now. This guy wants me to divor divorce my wife. No, she is Catholic. Yeah, okay. Let's go and it's his son immediately. And he has the genius and the commonly trait. Okay, so we this could be a very good good game. If we make sure that this guy marries someone with, a, with another physical trait i believe wait let's actually uh, do this stuff first yeah so we'll of, of course we'll call him willem we'll try to call all of our heirs willem if we can so we'll eventually end up with like a willem the the 20 25 fifth or something um yeah so we will educate him ourselves and he will learn stewardship as well so let's have a look i believe it's a decision here to strengthen your bloodline but you need a bright minds group which we already have and our son has that as well because the genius is a bright minds one then a beautiful characters group he has that as well the commonly but he needs a um physical trait or physical specimen group uh, trait as well uh, to add to that and because this is a inheritable trait we cannot give that to this guy but we could give it to this guy's uh, child if we uh, marry the right person and we have a little bit of luck so we get another stewardship point i will actually spend that on all the architect ones first and we get a claim on this guy's county, I believe. Yes. So we can now go to war for the county of Niedersticht. Yeah, we do have enough, a big enough army to defeat him. So I'll raise my army and we will send them to their capital. Did I not go to war? I didn't go to war yet. <laughs> my enthusiasm precedes me. Now we'll go to war. And I do not want to lead my army uh, myself. Because if I die, that would be very unfortunate. Our wife falls pregnant again. Now, if we get another son, that could be very annoying. But then again, if we want to get a big dynasty we do need a lot of children um especially with this uh oh we get a daughter okay that's good especially with the plague stuff that they added or made even more severe and they made it even more severe it, it, it is very likely to die <laughs> i mean it makes it makes perfect sense in the middle ages it is normal it was probably normal to die at like 30 or something and even then you will probably be would have probably been lucky if you made it to 30 go oh my god we're gaining stewardship points so quickly it's insane uh building restriction time reduction yes should almost win this now right yeah let's go we gained our first title niedersticht so i believe that's now my title right i control the county yes perfect so we can actually build stuff here we are invited to someone's hunt we'll definitely join that oh we gained the gardener trade that gives us stewardship and stress reduction okay and we'll start claiming a county again county we'll claim I mean, it doesn't really matter we do have a truce with this guy now don't we we don't what we do have a truce with him why doesn't it say that five years okay oh we have a truce with him but he can declare on us okay maybe i don't know this guy is allied but their total is not over 1000 so we should be able to win a war against them oh yeah and we can hire new court chairs as well but that does cost us money Def i definitely want a court tutor and I mean, a royal architect we cannot do because we're not a kingdom, I believe. Yeah. Okay, so we'll only do that one then. Oh, we failed the hunt, but we still get the hunter trade, I believe. Yep. This guy converted from Norse to Dutch. That's that's actually very nice because these almost always stay Norse, which is very annoying for um, just control and stuff. Ooh, our son gains the trade Rowdy. I believe that that helps him if he were to do the, uh, the martial one or intrigue, but I don't really care for intrigue that much in this game. I used to, but it's not really useful for building tall. I mean, you can use intrigue to like kill certain people to inherit uh, kingdoms and stuff but we don't really need to do that because all the counties that we want we should be able to get pretty easily the more difficult thing though is to keep them under our control and to do that we'll need a lot of money to basically build the right buildings um and also we need a lot of control which we will get with the martial one but that would only be for control though so no i will still give him the stewardship one and then if we need more control we'll just switch to the right um martial stuff i do believe that there is only a few that give control here yeah it's this one and then increase control county progress that's the second one and then that's basically it more plague resistance is nice and then enables absolute control what does that mean gives additional bonuses okay that could be nice as well yeah what well, well, yeah we'll switch to that when we need to but we don't need the education for that we don't really want the education for a um, lifestyle that we want all the focuses in or all the um perks are we at war we are at war but my liege is at war yeah so besides getting all the dutch counties back and forming a um a dutch kingdom a, a netherlands 
kingdom um, we also want to reform the dutch culture in a way that kind of makes sense um, i do want it to be like real or kind of realistic um, so i did have a look before starting this game already with when i want with what i want to reform it with we could do industrious uh, we definitely should do industrious by the way because that gives us access to water mills and windmills early which is actually i i'm surprised that the dutch don't start off with industrious uh, maybe because it's a little bit too early um, to have this already but we should definitely get the industrious because yeah water mills and windmills were the dutch are basically known for their windmills so we'll definitely need that and then i'll also want to get i also want to get the um what's it called the seafarers one it doesn't cost too much but it does give huge bonuses to the trade port uh, thing. And seeing as the Dutch um, were pretty maritime people and also have a lot of access to the seas. And we should probably get this one because it gives more control in the county, in a county that has a trade port, which is very useful. It also gives more levies. And especially this one, I find to be very nice. It gives extra men at arms regiments. So you can basically get your men at arms to huge sizes, which is very helpful in, um, in waging wars and... Uh, yeah, basically defending off any uprisings that might happen. And our wife is pregnant again. Yeah, so our goal with this guy is to become a king. We definitely want to become a king and independent. So we do not lose any titles when we die. Oh, we get another daughter. That's all fine. Matilda is a nice name. All right, we're out of that. So we should be able to go to war with this guy. He does have two allies here. Now we actually won't go to war with them just yet. I want to wait a little bit because it looks like, yep, it looks like there are a lot of factions now. Once they destroy the realm of their leech, which means we will get our independence. Then they want to install this guy, which I don't really care about. Let's join uh, the military power or the dissolution faction one can press the demands in one month can send an ultimatum at any time and i believe that we need to do that because we are the largest um, yep the largest in this faction let's press demands and he oh he actually accepts then noir is destroyed so now we are independent oh okay this makes it a little bit more this makes it more interesting <laughs> Because even though we are independent now, we only... Yeah, we'll have to go to war with them, with these guys, if we'll want to get more Dutch states, which is kind of annoying. But we do have our independence, which is a very big... Um, which is one of our milestones, basically. And we should still be able to go to war with Gelre uh, for their stuff. Oh, they do have bigger allies now. We're actually... Did that plague actually start in our country? No. Let's get a court physician. We're getting stewardship perks so fast, it's unbelievable. No, my son was stillborn. We lost our son. She has the calm trait. That's for, what is that? For diplomacy. And she has ballsy. I believe that's for stewardship. Yeah. And again, let's build trade ports whenever we can. Are we being raided? We are. Let's go. We got a loot back. That's nice. Ooh, these guys are at war with <laughs> almost everyone. Another independence. Two independence wars at the same time. Let's start claiming their lands as well. Get another daughter, okay. Wilhelmina. Oh, she got comely and, and, uh, and genius as well. But she, oh, she gained sickly. Okay, then she will probably, probably die. And we're being raided now. Yeah, we can't really do anything about that. Let's go, we get the architect trade. That gives us more stewardship and reduces the building cost and construction time. Let's actually start swaying the Pope. So we can hopefully ask him for some money soon. Oh, Sub didn't gain their independence. Okay, these guys still have a decent sized army. Let's start claiming Zipton's counties as well. And let's start going to war with these guys for the county of Gelre. Let's go. Let's go. We defeated their armies and we got control of Groningen. So now we should, should just be a question of time. We get another daughter, Wendell Moot. Oh, but our other daughter died. <laughs> we actually need to make sure that they marry matrilineal. So the, their children are born into our dynasty. We might need to I mean, um, I mean, we're 34, so we do have some time. We don't really need to do that right now. But if we, if we die and we don't do that, then we'll lose the ability to do so. We'll actually use the extort subject decision to get some more gold here. And our wife is pregnant again. What the frick? Oh, let's go. Our son is now Midas touched and a genius. And he has the impatient, the content and lustful trait. You want to lose Rowdy? Yep. She's a... Is she a queen? I don't know, but let's find someone with an inheritable trait that is of the um, physical one. So robust. Wait, let's sort on age. 
Chances for children high, commonly robust and genius. If we get a, an heir with all these traits, we can already do the um, strength and bloodline decision. That will be huge because I believe that gives us... Wait, well, let's have a look here. That gives us a small health boost and that gives us a bigger chance of inheriting good cognitive traits and also chance of inheriting new good cognitive traits is plus 400 that's actually huge so they almost always will have like one of the uh, the three physical traits oh we do get another son okay Baudouin. he only has the commonly one okay so let's have a look at our succession now because that means that yeah they will create a duchy title which means that our realm will split up and um, so we'll need to found a kingdom and then we need to be illustrious and we need three or more duchies to do that okay that should be doable uh, before we die and we won the war against these guys so we get the um bishop of groningen we can ransom all of these guys for some money which is very nice and we have a claim on zipton now they do have strong allies as well i led to helve they got even stronger allies oh my god let's go and she is now 16 years let's find someone to marry this guy perfect will be born into the house of nassau beautiful are we raided again yeah can't really do anything about that. Oh no, Zipton and Cleves got into the Ger Kingdom of Germany. Okay, that's interesting. That is very interesting. Okay, so that means that when we go to war with them, they still have Zipton as their ally. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Wait, let's have a look. Yeah, so we'll want to get, we'll want to form a kingdom as soon as we can. Because when we die, we don't want to split up our stuff. So we'll need more prestige. We'll get that with the hunting decisions or the hunting activities. Plan hunt, yes. I'll do it in Adam. Oh, let's go, we got it. Did we kill it? Yep, I'll keep the memento, thank you. Let's go. So we got bear claws, that gives us more prestige. Very nice. And we are now distinguished. Yeah, we still need one level higher. We need to be illustrious to get the kingdom and we need more titles, more duchy titles. Um, yeah, we'll actually have to go for the uh, prestige or no we definitely have to do the prestige yeah all right let's continue we lost the trade wounded that is very nice so when can we do another hunt in 14 months okay that takes what is it two years yeah a feast only gives us opinion and stress laws and this gives us legitimacy and okay so we don't get prestige from feasting okay oh we might get that when we get the eager reveler trade which we get when we do yeah we do we are able to get prestige yeah from this it does cost us way more than just a hunt oh and we get another uh, claim as well focused reading gives us learning or we gain pity let's do learning have to just keep an out for Gelre when we when they lose their allies. Oh, let's go. We get another trinket. Sponge on a stick, which reduces health but gives us child opinion. Let's <laughs> let's destroy that one because that's pretty useless. Oh, game sighting in Holland. Oh, that's annoying that we can't do a hunt. Let's actually increase our uh, development again. And let's make sure that our children are will be married. So we'll want to marry the matrilineal and she is 15. So he has the intelligent trait, but she has the other one. So let's marry her to this guy. And then she is four. So we'll marry her to this guy. Beautiful. And we formed another alliance. We actually formed two alliances, okay. Wait, let's have a look if we declare war. Do we have the upper hand? No, not yet. And let's hold a feast. Yes, please. And we did gain some prestige immediately. This is perfect. And we get some more. 
Let's go. Did we gain a trait? Nope. Okay. But we did gain a lot of prestige. Oh, let's go. Matilda has the Mastermind. Yep, Mastermind Philosopher. That's a good one. That's a good education. She can marry as well. Matrilineal, please. Um, this guy has quick. She has these two, so we'll do Ponce. Oh my god, we get two more daughters. Or granddaughters. Nope, granddaughters, okay. Juliana and Maria, beautiful names. Oh, and we get a daughter as well. Machtelt. Or did we? Nope. So we married them out and they get children straight away. We'll need to make sure that they all get educations. Oh wait, that's the first child of our heir and she did not get all three traits, okay. Oh, but she did, okay. So it is possible to do that. Let's make sure that we marry them out before we die. So we actually, I mean, we don't need to do it with our heir because we'll always be able to do that, but we definitely need to do that with these ones, with these children. Find spouse. Probably with an inheritable trait and matrilineal. So she got the robust traits. Marry her with this guy. Can we actually do another hunt? I believe we can. Uh, where did we get the deer sided one? Over here. Hard siding. Let's go. We'll need the mercenaries probably. And the forest. No. Chance of danger. Do we need a caravan master? Maybe. Yeah, let's do that. Perfect. Okay, so do we still have his truce with these guys? Nope. Oh, we do. Why can I not see that over there? And Gelders still has all their allies. Okay. Get another daughter, oh my god. Let's go, we get even more prestige. We're almost illustrious. Can I actually go for the Duchy of Yelliland? What the? Okay. I mean, if we create a few more titles, we should be able to be a, or become illustrious, right? Yeah, we do get more of that stuff. We are a legitimate ruler, which gives us a few bonuses. That's nice. We should get renown if we are ordained, okay. Greatly increases all this stuff. Why is that? Is that because we are a duke that we gain all these bonuses, maybe? Yeah, so we'll use our money to create these titles when we have enough. Or we could maybe do another feast if we are able to do that. That would be nice. We are not, we need to wait two years, okay. We have another granddaughter, okay. Oh, let's go. She has all the um, all the traits, but she is a woman, and because we still have male uh, dominant. Wait, what do we have? We still have male preference, I believe, or everyone starts off with male preference. Yes, we can only do equal if we have high crown authority, and if our fate allows it. Yeah. So because. The, they don't have an, um, a boy yet. She will inherit everything. After I die and after our uh, son dies. But yeah, okay. I know I'm yapping a lot, but it's just what I do. Yeah, so hopefully they still get a son. But I do believe that the chance of them getting children is high. So we don't really need to worry about that. Let's go, we'll create the Duchy of Frisia. Ooh. Oh, we could create the Kingdom of Frisia as well. Yeah, then we don't even need to be illustrious. But I kind of want to get all these other counties before we do that, because that means that they will be in our de jure, I believe. And um, they got even bigger allies, that is very annoying. But I can declare war on these guys. Let's actually try to do that. Yeah. We'll go to war with them. 
I can call in my allies, I wanna do that. Get another son. Oh no, it's a grandson, okay. I might need to hire some mercenaries if you wanna go to war with them. Yeah, we'll definitely need more money to do that though. Might gain a stewardship lifestyle point or prestige. Now let's do the stewardship uh, point. Oh, we get another grandson. Let's call him Willem. I'll educate him as well. Wait, so what's the maximum development we can get? Ah, so the maximum is 10 right now. And then when we, when our culture gets, um, or do we already have it? No, we already have it. Okay, public works. Yeah, that gives us a maximum existing penalty of 20. Okay, so we can actually incre still increase development. That's good to know. Let's go. We get another stewardship point. We'll definitely be able to get all the perks when we, uh, before we die, maybe. We are 44 already, so I don't know. Let's try to go to war with the... Oh. Let's try to go to war with Vinos again. For the county of Oversticht. And we'll actually get some mercenaries to help us. Let's go, we crushed our armies. Now we need to hope that we can defeat their allies. They got an army of 1000. Where is Angria actually? Oh, it's over here, okay. But they got other wars going on as well, so... They might not even be able to send their armies. Let's go, we got the Avaricius trait. That gives us more stewardship and more holding taxes. More money for us. And let's go, we got some valuable prisoners. We got some loot, that's very nice. Should defeat them at any point now, right? We got the claim, we defeated their armies like three times. Another perk, yeah, we actually need to follow their armies because they cannot link up with the uh, with their allies. Then we will definitely not be able to kill them off. We will actually ransom all of these people. Let's try to defeat them when they are uh, not linked up. Let's go, that's them defeated. And then we'll need to defeat their armies over here. Come on. Let's go, we'll extend their contract. And we'll follow them over here. Did they just disband their army? What the frick? Oh no, they're over here, okay. Ooh, but let's go, we get our first dynasty point already. Um, or dynasty legacy perk, I don't know what it's called. I'm actually going to go for all the bloodlines ones first because this is just, these are all huge bonuses when trying to survive, um, trying to create a strong dynasty. And then after that, we'll probably go for the or maybe well, we'll have to see but going for blood is definitely the best thing to do uh, when you start off chance of inheriting good cognitive traits is increased and also the chance of inheriting new good cognitive traits is increased as well and we defeated their armies again we should win this now at any fucking point come on we'll defeat their army one more time let's go and that is a w that means that we now get overstick as well that is Pretty damn huge. Ooh, they did they wait what? They had a war probably. Yeah, but they still have strong allies. We might be able to win a war against them as well if we um, maneuver our armies uh, correctly. But we first need to make sure that we have money. That's our first goal. Uh, let's exhort subjects again. And we'll move this guy. No, we still need... Oh, we are illustrious. Okay, let's go. We'll move this guy uh, and we'll let, or we'll let him do the domestic affairs. That increases direct vassal opinion. And all our vassals are my direct vassal. So what do we need to create the kingdom title now? We basically need gold and we need more one more duchy title yeah, and after we do all the stewardship perks we'll definitely switch to learning to get the health boost and to get these uh, health boots over here and just make sure that we survive long enough to form the kingdom that we want and speaking about surviving we get the ill trait <laughs> we actually get sickness <laughs> like literally the second i talk about us dying because we're ill which is i believe yeah let's not do more than necessary. Fuck! <laughs> uh, let's do it. It's too late for caution. I will live to see another day. Let's go. Massive boost. Yeah, let's expire all these. Let's go. We are not ill anymore. Perfect. Ooh, Italy. Okay. Italy incorporated the other... Oh, that makes it way more annoying to get 
the other counties. I mean, we do have 3k, but yeah, now all these mercenaries are leaving us, so we lose a lot of that. Oh, she gains Midas touch as well. Okay, these educations are going really well, which is nice. Oh, what? They will be married? No, matrilineal. But they won't accept. What the fuck? Wait, that was not what we agreed on. Oh, they're already married. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, let's try to do a war against Helve now. And we'll start claiming their other title as well. Declare war on my claims. Let's go. And we defeated their army straight away. And this guy gets Midas touched as well. Um, I don't really want to start inbreeding right now. <laughs> Uh, let's just, it's my son and knight, and he's got Komali. Let's marry him with Akne, so she got the genius traits. Let's go, and we'll, we won that battle pretty easily with a guy who doesn't even, can't even lead an army. And that's the war done, let's go. Now we need to make sure that we get a short and truce, and that we get their other title as well. Oh, they actually got, with who are their allied with Italy, okay. Because they don't have a big army themselves. But Italy does. But also mostly their allies. Let's go. We get another stewardship last up point. We'll join the feast. Oh my god, I'm raided <laughs> by the army. Oh my god. I need I'll need to find these some men to Medi. So she's got yeah, she needs the beautiful we need the beautiful trade. And this main. Yes. And then she's got all the trades, so it doesn't really matter. Ten years of age. Matrilineal. Let's do Alfonso. Oh, let's go. We get another grandson. Let's call him after Willem. And he's got the beautiful trait. Another plague. Let's... No, I don't really want to enter seclusion because I believe that that reduces prestige and legitimacy loss. Or it gives us legitimacy loss. So let's just isolate the capital. Yeah. That should help. Yeah. We get another grandson. We'll call him Willem as well. He has the quick trait. Let's go, so we have enough money to create the Duchy of Utrecht. Now we only need a little bit more to form a kingdom. Wait, are these twins? They are twins, yeah, they look exactly alike. Let's go, we can actually found a new kingdom, but I do want to conquer Kelve before I do that. We still have a truce with them for how long? Nine months. Yeah, I'll probably be able to survive nine months. Oh, we get the Dutch lucky coin. It gives us stewardship per stress, domain taxes, and more stewardship lifestyle experience. That is very huge. Oh, did we lose the truce? Is the truce over? Yes, let's go. One more war against Gelre, and then we are pretty much set to form our kingdom. Let's freaking go declare war, raise armies. Should be pretty easy. Do they actually have allies? They do. 500, that is not enough. And let's go. We got Arnhem as well. So now we are... Are we controlling everything in the kingdom of Friesland? I believe we do. Right, let's have a look. So kingdom titles. No, we only need, needed Zupten. But Germany is still allied with Italy. So that is not really doable right now. Um, and we are almost... I mean, I don't really know how long we'll survive. Sometimes she can live up to 80. Sometimes, I don't know. It's it's random, but we are still uh, on good health. Um, but just to be sure, and just to make sure that we don't split up our realm, we will actually found a new kingdom. And let's gather the realm to let them see this new kingdom. A realm reforged. You have become king of Holland. Kingdom of Holland has become your new primary title. Let's freaking go. We are now able to actually use our court artifacts, which gives us some nice bonuses indeed. We have the Van Oranje Nasso banner, and we got another one with a little bit more rarity as well. I do really like the, um, the design that I made myself, if I do say so myself. Well, actually, I have to give this a different name because will not call this the kingdom of holland we will call this the kingdom of the netherlands we'll give it a orange color indeed a little bit more red because the map mode is a little bit dull so this looks fine and we will uh, adjust this and we'll do the tri-colored red white and light blue that the seven provinces had when they were formed so the kingdom of the netherlands oh i actually need to remove the emblem the kingdom of the netherlands title which looks beautiful we could actually call it something else wait we have one two three four five six seven eight nine we actually have 11 provinces i believe one two three one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven let's call it the 11 provinces let's call it the 11 provinces the 11 11 provinces 
beautiful look at that the 11 provinces right in the middle of europe next to germany italy and west francia <laughs> for some reason france wasn't able to form um, form um Francia this soon I mean it's we've played a roughly 40 years um, and Italy gained a lot of France for some reason but it looks definitely looks cool the 11 provinces very nice we will continue this campaign in the next video where we will of course be trying to get back even more of the um of the uh the dutch counties like bruges brabant antwerpen maastricht Aachen, liege all the way down to uh the duchy of luxembourg and stuff like i said in the beginning of the video we will be getting that back in the upcoming videos anyways thank you guys so much for watching it has been a while since i uploaded but we are back with even more videos thank you guys for watching stay safe and i'll see you in the next one ciao